Officials at Mbale Secondary School in Mbale City have revealed that at least two students who sit for their Uganda certificate examinations in company of police over in these plain cases. Speaking to journalists at the sidelines of the briefing of the senior four students on Friday, the Mbale Secondary School head teacher Moses Buyela said that the two students who he refused to name were suspended due to indiscipline cases and asked to report on examination day in company of police. Uh, we don't have very unique cases, as such, we don't have any special needs uh, cases, we don't uh, have maybe apart from some or two students who had. Uh, who were involved in discipline, who were given uh, suspension and were asked to report to school on Monday with the police, escorted by police. According to Wiela, the students were involved in violent acts where they wanted to beat teachers, which prompted the school to suspend them till examination time. And they thought they would need the, to, to be escorted by police. That is a normal procedure normally for students. Uh, to misbehave, the, 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 the task they give them is to come with either their parents or with the police. The two students are among 747 candidates who will be starting their final examinations on Monday. Wiela said that they have prepared the learners for the examination and they are hoping for the best. They have been uh, affected so much by the, the pandemic and the lockdown, but we believe that they are now ready. They are now ready and we believe that they will do the exam as well and they, when they begin the exam on Monday with mathematics. A total of 349,445 candidates were registered and are scheduled to sit for this year's Uganda Certificate Examination from 3,703 examination centers across the country. Out of this, 175,923 are boys and 173,522 are girls. 519 of these have disabilities and 51 of them are prisoners. We appreciate God. The head teacher of Koma Secondary School, Abakari Kawanguzi, said during the briefing that they have emphasized on good character from the students if they are to successfully complete the exams. Today we have a briefing for our senior four candidates 2022. started by the yesterday the name for the name. We gave them the timetables, we gave them identity cards because it is a requirement. He said there will sit 1,208 students for this year's UCE exams. And uh, as uh, I talk now, from a senior secondary school, we have 1,208 students who are going to sit for the examination this year. But we have tried to prepare our students. The students have also expressed readiness towards the passing of the exams. According to them, the teachers have played their part and it's now their duty to see it that they pass. All the reservations are done as usual, but I can't make most just to promise you the good results you're going to see. I'm not prepared for my I'm ready to do it. When I get to be young, one child will be happy. Only that. I'm very prepared with the teachers. I'm very prepared. I know that I'm going to succeed. This is the first national examination which the country is holding in the absence of the COVID-19 threat, which led to the closure of schools for close to two years. Uganda National Examinations Board has warned against any form of malpractice. Chirinya Ayub, Majuma Bomba, City Post TV.